Suara.com is the fastest growing online news portal in Indonesia. It's an independent agency. Let's bring in Mr. Arfi Bambani Amri, Managing Editor at Suara.com in Indonesia. A member of the multi-stakeholder advisory group of Indonesia Internet Governance Forum, and he's also an analyst for Indonesia Press Council. Thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you, Ray. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start the Global Affairs Insider. Yeah. Indonesia is set to move its capital to Nusantara. As an Indonesian citizen, do you fully agree on this move, considering that some critics demonstrated that it can threaten the world's old, oldest rainforest in Nusantara? Uh, yeah, well, I, I should cl clarify you on this. Uh, first, I don't think they will uh, clear uh, tropical rainforest in uh, Kalim in Kalimantan or maybe internationally known as Borneo. Uh, the, the the location the uh what we call industrial so and yeah industrial forest uh, it's a homogeneous uh trees so. Uh, the idea is now making this, uh, this uh, homogeneous tree uh, forest becoming a heterogeneous forest. So uh, this uh, economic cakes, I don't know how to mention it, because Indonesia has been the centralization of powers, centralization of economy has been entrenched. Yeah, maybe since the beginning of the republic. Well, let's say from the 1945, Jakarta, Jakarta is so uh, central, uh, so yeah, uh, so positioning as a central, and any uh, economic power, political power is uh, made in this Jakarta. So moving the capital, just like moving the moving it to a new central moving the power of economic the power of political power into a new central just so i don't think it will wholly answer the question of distribution i we we should think about another uh way of do, another strategy to to uh answer the problem this uh, economic distribution maybe we should think of more uh authorities bring more uh economic policy power to uh provincial level government or to uh a lower level of government in indonesia maybe that that's the thing we should really care about uh, really think about uh, i remember one 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 study a uh, one lecture that i attended in likwanyu school uh ray uh, there was a class uh, talking about decentralization, whether it's, is it good economy or lecture, interesting to me, really intriguing for me at that time. Uh, the industrial revolution in, 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 in England, in British, or maybe we can say in UK, uh, the industrial revolution in UK was so blooming when there was at the same time uh, uh, a great decentralization of power into uh, local government in, in UK. Uh, it, it was so we can say it was on seventeenth uh, uh, century. So there was the the highest uh, economic growth in UK history, and there, there's another example of China. Maybe you can. Uh, we see now China is the uh, the most the fastest growing economy in the world, and and we don't know that the one of the factors that make China like we see China today 
It's because uh, the central government in Beijing giving more power to the province, to the province uh, in, in China. So uh, the, the province can, uh, can, can deal with investments, can deal with uh, big corporations to attract more investment into the province. That's the thing uh, they do in China. So, but I have a, a discussion with uh, an expert that uh, that works with the president here in Indonesia. Uh, but there is also example where centralized government can distribute more economy, he said. Uh, I don't know whether this is true or not, but uh, th there, there is example where centralized uh, political power can distribute uh, more economic cakes to to the uh, to any country. To yeah, but, but I never read any uh, research on that. But I can I can get the the idea because when you centralize the power, you can distribute uh, evenly between between province or uh, states uh, in. In a federal like country, how do you think Nusantara can pivot the future of Indonesia? Mm. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think uh, Jokowi the Jokowi does is trying to set a leg for his administration. So uh, setting up a new capital will, will be a huge legacy for him. And so uh, though his administration just lasted for less than two years, so next, next year we will, no, in two, 2024 in February we're gonna have a, another election, and Jokowi should step down uh, because it's already two terms. I got some uh, some some facts from uh, policymakers, maybe uh, from uh, lawmakers, both parliament that he. Uh, he he thinks that the moving is not going going to work uh, because there, there there is too too many uh, constraints that uh, that needs more than two years to finish it. Uh, for now, Jokowi has uh, settled the uh, legal problems by uh, uh, ratific uh, by in enactment of a, a new law on this capital so we should budgeting but moving uh, is is a big talking you need a lot of money to to move capital right uh, we talk about money we talk about how many people that you have to move you we talk about how, how many uh government agencies we talk about how many infrastructures that you have to build for the the new capital and he said that uh one of uh, these lawmakers that i met he he was pessimistic uh this uh, we can uh, indonesia have a new capital in two years so Jokowi uh, has planned for has planned to move the the new cap to the new capital to a new past president in all twenty twenty. So uh, election is on February thirty, and but Jokowi will still be at the helmet of the administration until usually until October. Uh yeah, because the 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 the, the period ended on 
October. And so in August, Jokowi will do a ceremony to move into a new palace in August 2024. Let's see we how how good he can work on this to solve this problem. To, too many constraints that uh, he has to answer. Yeah, yeah, that's it, uh, Ray. <laughs> Mr. Arfi Bambani, Armory, Managing Editor of Suara.com from Indonesia. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ray. For your this is Ray Ram Del Rosario. That's the Global Affairs Insider. Follow us for our next episode only here in IPDCI News.